SOLIDWORKS can help you in school. Are you trying to accurately synthesize linkage systems for a class? SOLIDWORKS can help in finding the placement of links based off desired positions that the system needs to be at. First, sketch the positions that the linkage is desired to reach. In this case, the goal is to move the lift arm to two different positions. To start synthesizing the linkages, open a new sketch. Decide on the location for the two different links. In this case, they'll be located at the rightmost bottom and top corners. Sketch equally sized circles on the same locations in the two different positions. Choose a dimension for the circles, noting that where they intersect will be the location of the other end of that link. The intersection point can be created in two different ways. The first is to add a point into the sketch, then select the point and the two intersecting curves. Now add an intersection relation to that group. This will place the point at the desired location. The other way is to exit the sketch, go into Reference Geometry, and select Point. The two curves can now be chosen and a point will appear in the model. Create another pair of circles in a point for the other link location. This can be done either in the previous sketch or an entirely new sketch. For this case, it might be desirable to have the point located on the ground plane. Create the intersection point first and then add a horizontal relationship with the origin. To finish off the synthesis of the linkage, we can create the linkage system by using sketch entities and blocks. Exit the current sketch and create a new one. Draw sketch lines that connect the synthesized points to the points on one of the lift arm positions. Make sure to connect the correct two points. Turn each line that was just created into a block by going under Tools, Blocks, and Make, and then selecting the line. This also can be done by clicking the line and selecting the Make Block icon. Make sure that the ends have a coincident relation between them and the synthesized endpoints. Create another block that is the shape of the lift or insert the lift block if a block was used to create it before. Insert a coincident relation between the lift arm and the linkages. It may be helpful to hide the sketch or sketches that contain all the circles. Click and drag one of the arms to see if the motion is that which is desired. If you are designing a linkage system that has three positions, create three equally sized circles located on the same point in the three different positions. Add a point at the intersection of two of the circles. Then add a coincident relation between the point and the final circle. This will most likely fully define the sketch. Repeat the same process with the other set of points. Finish off the linkage system like the previous one. This sketch can be used to create a whole linkage assembly later. The process of synthesizing linkages using this technique can be used for most any scenario that requires linkages.